Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Welcome aboard Frank's Magic Bus. For the next two hours, Frank Welch takes you on a musical journey with some of the best deep tracks of classic rock history. You'll hear this week's featured artists and a whole lot more. Now, without further ado, Frank Welch. And I'm going to play for you portions of a one-on-one chat I had with the leader, well, de facto leader of the Moody Blues, Justin Hayward, backstage at one of their concerts. Pretty interesting things he has to say about their symphonic sound, their orchestra sound, which really wasn't an orchestra except for one album. He'll explain that in a few minutes. They came out of England back in the mid-1960s. Their very first hits, you may recall, Go Now. But that wasn't Justin Hayward singing. That was Denny Lane doing lead vocals then in the mid-1960s. Later on, became famous as a member of Paul McCartney's Wings. If you're lucky enough to see the Moody Blues and in a city that has a symphony that can host the band and play along with them, you might not realize this, but they usually don't even meet that symphony, that orchestra, until the day of the show. And sometimes, if they're lucky, during the sound check that afternoon. And we talk one-on-one with the Moody Blues' Justin Hayward backstage at one of their shows about how difficult that can be. Do they rehearse ahead of time for this? Well, hopefully they'll have had the parts for the music uh, a few days before and will have been able to look at them and go over them. And I, I only say that there's not that much time for rehearsal because it's a tour of one-nighters, so we are literally in a different place every night. So all we can do is a good sound check in the afternoon and um, hopefully most of the uh, the vibe of the music is carried by the group anyway, so the orchestra really has to just play as written, and if they're good players, they should be able to. Isn't it refreshing to go to a classic rock concert and see a mix of ages, like uh, people you know our age that grew up with stuff like the Moody Blues, and younger people too in their 20s or even in their teens, appreciating good music. We talk backstage to the Moody Blues Justin Hayward about his audience age mix for a Moody Blues concert. On your last couple of U.S. tours and and anticipating the one you've got coming up now in the U.S., what kind of crowds are you seeing? Are are most of the people over 30 like us? Are they... Uh, it, no, I don't think so. I think the average age of people that go to concerts is probably around 24, 25. And I think because of a couple of records that we had in the um, 80s, which were a song called Your Wildest Dreams and another song called I Know You're Out There Somewhere, that uh, introduced a whole new audience to the band. And so uh, the average age of our audience is, I suppose, you know, in its early 20s. But thankfully the people over 30 are still with us and still enjoying the music. 